Hi, welcome to Loose Unicorn's Brewing Guide. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the French press. Uh, French press it's a very easy way of making coffee. Um, those uh, French presses can be found in your uh, local grocery store, uh, can be found in uh, specialty coffee shops, can be found in roasteries, anywhere you can purchase one of those. And the beauty of it is just its simplicity. Um, this method is called an immersion method. So basically what we're doing here, we're going to add um, coffee, we're going to steep it in water and then we're just going to let it brew for about 4 minutes. So first of all, we're going to start by um, just heating the brewer. We're just going to use a bit of hot water. This will just create a very nice environment for the coffee. So we don't want to have a very cold brewer because when we're going to add the actual water, the brewer is just going to take all the heat. So we want to just prepare for that. As we leave it here, we're going to prepare our coffee. Um, today we're brewing Columbia Tolima from Blue's Unicorns. Very fruity, high acidity, gorgeous coffee. And we're going to be using about 20 grams of coffee. And that's about it. But you can put just slightly a bit over 20, just because usually the grinders are eating up a bit of ground. There we go. I'm gonna get this grinded. Now, for the French press, we would try to grind a bit coarser than usually. Now, um, because this method doesn't imply any uh, paper filter filtration, and usually the filtration is done through a metal sieve, then this will allow a lot of the solids and a lot of the fines to go right through. So hence we will have to um, produce a much much more coarser uh, style of grind size. Now because the grounds are very big, this means that the extraction surface of the coffee is very limited. So then we will have to wait a little bit longer until the coffee is getting brewed. Um, if you don't know exactly what uh, coarse grind it is, um, it's usually the size of the um, table salts pretty much. Um, but also, if you want, uh, you can also get the uh, uh, coffee grinded for you uh, by your local, local roaster, whenever you're buying your coffee from. Um, good thing is that if you get it from Loose Unicorns, you can just actually request it exactly the type of grind size you need for your uh, brewing style. Now, the French press is ready. Just going to throw the water. We're going to add the coffee. So we have here 20 grams of coffee. We're going to add about 40 grams of water and this will allow the coffee to bloom. Blooming is that moment where the coffee is releasing CO2 and it starts the extraction. We can just give it a bit of a, of a move. We're going to allow the water to fully saturate all the grounds in the, in the brewer. And we're gonna let it be for about 30 seconds. Um, the blooming time also depends on the age of the coffee. If the coffee is really fresh, you will see it makes very aggressive big bubbles. If the coffee is a bit older, then it will make less bubbles. Now I'm going to just deliver the entire amount of water and we're gonna be brewing about 300. 300 grams of water is what we're going to add on. And we just going to pour it all the way through. Now remember that as you're pouring more water, the coffee will be more diluted, more light. The less amount of water you're pouring, the coffee is going to be more intense. Now, very slowly, we're going to remove it from the scale and we're going to cover it. And then we're gonna let it steep for about uh, four minutes. Again, it's because the grind size is big, we just have to let it Extract. We're not gonna touch it, we're not gonna do anything, just let it be for a while. Alright, so we're reaching about four minutes of the brewing of the brewing time. Um, we're just going to open it up and check it out and, and you as you can see there's going to be a very nice crust which is building up at the top of the of the coffee. So we're just gonna go ahead and just give it a bit of a stir. Now this steering, what it does, it breaks that crust. Now breaking that crust it will allow the uh, grounds to just sink and go very easily down at the bottom. Um, this will just make our life easier when we're plunging the coffee, which is the next step. We're just going to put the plunger and very slowly, very easy, don't do it too fast, 
just allow the coffee to go down at the bottom. As you're moving down, you'll find some resistance because there's a lot of water, a lot of coffee which is pushing the plunger back, but just make it nice and slow. Okay, that's about it. Now, one of the things you have to keep in mind is that if you're not going to enjoy the entire brew at the same time, do not leave in, 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 in the French press. You'll have to transfer it. Transfer your coffee into another basil or uh, into another uh, carafe or whatever you like. And then just put this on the side. Uh, leaving the coffee inside the grounds, it will keep on extracting. So that will just end up having a very bitter coffee. So basically now we have stopped the extraction. Now the coffee is ready to drink. We're gonna pour it a little bit. Have a taste, see how it is. It tastes delicious. Um, keep in mind that the French press, it's a more heavy body coffee. Um, it's a bit dirty, we'll call it. As you can see, it has a bit of sediment. Uh, it's very rich and very complex. Um, but some people really like it. I like it as well. It's very good. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.